Uh, Lede just did a video on fatalism and determinism and how he avoids fatalism. Um, well, I would say if you've avoided fatalism, you've avoided determinism of the hard nature, like hard determinism. Um, allow me to illustrate. I'll give you the illustration that uh, I gave Hythe Lede. It's kind of colorful. Uh, let's say I was to get hit in the face with a shovel. That ought to please a few people, but um, you know, somebody just hits me in the face or ties me up and says, I'm going to hit you in the face with this spade, this garden spade. And I'm tied up and I'm looking at it. Well, here it comes. There's nothing I can do about it. Um, that's going to happen. So, I just let it happen. Boom! Right in the face. Now, <clears throat> I place value on that. Did I like the spade to the face, or did I dislike the spade to the face? Was that a good thing that happened to me? Was that a bad thing that happened to me? Etc., etc., etc. You can use this example for every uh, experience, every outcome. Um, I would argue that doing so actually changes the outcome, even though physically the outcome has not been changed the spin, the value that you put on that event, your experience of it and your assessment of that uh, experience, your interpretation of that experience changes the outcome even though the events are absolutely identical in both possible scenarios, if you can even speak of possible scenarios here. Um, I get hit in the face with a shovel. I've just been hit in the face with a shovel. That's inevitable. That's necessity. That's determined. Whatever you want. The spin I put on that event, even between my own ears, even between me and myself, influences the outcome even if the outcome is rigidly determined. There's more to an outcome than falling dominoes there's value to an outcome. Where does value come from? 